G'day viewers, at this job in Bullsbrook and before I even got out the car pretty sure I can see what the problem is that's a burnt out rooftop DC isolator um, so a bit of a backstory on this job I've been here before uh, this was installed by Infinite Energy who are no longer around and um, shortly after it was installed the inverter failed and uh, the clients couldn't get infinite energy back out and they got me out and I determined that the original inverter they installed was not sized correctly for the amount of panels and it uh, ruined the original inverter. Uh, they weren't going to come out until they got my invoice with a report um, clearly stating that it was sized incorrectly and it was the uh, their own fault. Um, so they came out, they swapped the inverter over, and they also disconnected a few panels to bring it back into its correct parameters. But what I wanted to do here was just turn everything back on and just make sure that this inverter is still working, uh, which it is. State 522 alert there, I'm not quite sure what that is, I'll have a look at it beforehand, but I just wanted to make sure it still works before I go doing anything, because um, sometimes, with a fault like that, it can destroy the inverter. Um, but uh, it appears that we're all good. So I'm just going to shut that down now because I'm comfortable that that's working. That's all off. But uh, something you need to be aware of is that um, although I've turned them off, the rooftop is still live including that burnt out isolator so let's go and have a look at that all right what a mess that's a fairly common scenario um, because for a long time we had to have rooftop isolators um, but it was yeah definitely not a good idea you've got a, a a high voltage DC source um, that can't be shut down unless you cover all those panels um, especially under fault conditions when it's short circuited because you can't if you try to unplug one of the panels to break the circuit um, you do get a, a fairly big flash over also so that's dangerous in itself um, so yeah it does create a bit of a problem they've put some silicon on there it's just it's a recipe for disaster so so, yeah. so oh no it's not cracking that's where it's joined oh that's all cracked and that's down to the rubber seal so that's I'll check that one too that's probably got water in it but I'm actually going to get rid of the rooftop isolate altogether but like I say that is still live let's have a bit of a look There we go. Still live, even though everything's shut down. So that's what you need to be careful of. And now there's no, it's not short circuited. There's no current at the moment. Um, so I'm actually gonna unplug one of those leads on the array um, and that will make it safe for me to work on. All right, so something to be aware of when you're up on the roof working on uh, solar arrays you can easily get caught out by it um, and uh, 600 odd volts DC that's going to do a fair bit of damage so definitely be careful on that one guys cheers